back again and I think we're at part 8 of Beyond Skion. I don't remember, it's a long game. But anyway, if we jump up here, shoot that, we get loads of revolver ammo. So grab that and then jump across to the other side. And another revolver, yes. So when we continue down, we get a diary update. So let's have a look. Location, Polonarua, correct me if I'm wrong, Sri Lanka. Uh, inventory, Skion piece 2, objectives, explore garden ruins, gain access to temple, return Skion part to safe location, secrets in this level 3. So uh, there are secrets, which means we will be able to get the Sri Lanka trophy, the hunter's trophy reward. So continuing up, up the stairs, up the slope, uh, and it looks like there's a dead end, but actually there is a ladder right here. Here, climb up, hop across, and Lara will look at that suspicious bit of ground. But under here, there is a laser sight. So it's given us a revolver and a laser sight already. I mean, we do already have them, but that is a clue. So let me get my revolver, and we need to shoot this. So what that did was lower that suspicious bit of ground. Okay, so turn the wheel here. And that is further along the path. We're going to go straight to that. I can climb out. So just jump out and follow the path a bit further round. So it's practically at the top. The reason we're doing all of this before we get there, uh, get to the end, is because there is a gate at the end and doing all this opens the gate. So here we are, these rocks here. Uh, this is a tricky jump because of the rocks. Here we go. Oh, that went quite smoothly. Okay, so here is another wheel. Turn this wheel. And you heard the gate opening, and that is just around the corner. Well, next two corners. And when you enter this area, you get some awesome music, along with a tiger. Now, you have to hit the tiger in a certain spot. It's so annoying. They're like super tigers that just won't die. Okay, so yeah, the tigers are annoying in this level, because you have to hit them right in the center. It's weird. You like the, um, the golden statues from Tomb Raider 4 very strange. So anyway, coming into the far corner, there is a pulley. You don't need to hold the button down to use this, just press it once and you can see what it does. So you saw what that did, that is right over here. And it's given us access to this door. Open it. Open. Come on. Come on. Okay. So just follow it all the way around. It's not long at all. In 
this area, right up here, there's a grate that we need to open. And here is how we do it. Right here. So before I get out of the water, there are some shotgun shells just in this corner. Climb out. And up here on the right hand side, all the way at the far end, there are some more shotgun shells. Pick it up. Come on. Pick them up. There we go. Whoa, all the wrong buttons there as well. So, right, the goal right now is to open that door inside, just there. And to do that, we need to get on the roof. So there's a ladder on the opposite side, on the left-hand side. So just make your way up, and there is a, there is a large med pack as soon as you get to the roof. And it's very easy to miss. It's right here. Just see, oh, uh, right. <laughs> you can see on the wall over there. There is a jump switch, and that's what opens the door. But unfortunately, it is a long way down. So, yeah, this level will not be a nomad level. Uh, I will explain more when we get there. I don't want to spoil any surprises. Okay, right, oh, oh, lots of fall damage, <laughs> so anyway, now the door is open, we've opened the door, and you can see a wheel here on the wall, that opens that door, and it's timed, but it gives plenty of time to get through the door, so I don't fully understand why the switch is right there, because, you know, Where's the challenge? So, this can be a bit annoying, so... Oh! Oh no! I didn't mean to do that. I'm gonna start again. <laughs> I didn't even save. Okay, I'm back. This time I am going to walk up to the edge. I will deal with that guy over there in a moment, but first I'm going to get these elephants. There's two elephants and one guard down there, so I'll get the guy when I eventually go down there. Oh, where have they gone? Let's not play this game. Oh, there you are. They merged together for a moment. Did you see that? Yeah, I've never actually bothered to go down there with the elephants. I assumed the spiked walls were there for the uh, the elephants to push into them. That's just my theory. Too scared to try. They do give you the runaround. no point shooting that guard because it's difficult from here. It'll take forever. Okay, now to deal with that guy over yonder. The closer you are, the more likely you are to do damage to these guys. They're a little bit annoying. You can always see like a, a green spark coming from their chest. That means you are hitting them. So he drops a shotgun. I think he might have done a bit of damage. I can't tell. Did he? 
I can't work it out. But anyway, in this corner there is usually a statue. You can shoot the statue to get that med pack, but I must have shot it in the conflict. So you see there was one there, I've managed to shoot that one to show you. So shotgun shells under that one. And now back across for secret one. And this secret is the reason that you can't do this level without using a med pack. Because the secret is in here. Can't shoot the thing. There we go. And that's a long way down. It is, isn't it? Okay, so just jump into the gap, and don't forget you can use the sprint button to roll along in a crouched position. It's a lot faster. So, here we go. Secret 1, along with a large med pack. just climb back out. I have tried doing this without getting that secret and it is very possible to finish this level without using a med pack if you do not want to get this secret. So it is upsetting and annoying. Now I'm going to have to use a med pack. Yeah. Let me save the game. Right, so just drop down. Don't hover there for too long because the guard will run over. See that? Ouch. So now deal with this guy. You can see the uh, the green sparks coming from his chest. And he drops a small med pack. And so now we're in this room. The purpose of it is there are two pedestals over there and two over there. And we need four coins, one to put on each pedestal. Coin one that I will be getting is over here, in this very well hidden crawl space. I had trouble finding this one on my first playthrough. So, hop out. And then you want to walk. And that is why. So this one is more difficult to find, and I don't fully understand the idea of the hint here. You see there's four coins, we only need one of these, so basically <coughs> work out which one. <coughs> they croaky. So from looking at that on the wall, you'd assume the green one, which is this one. I would have assumed this is the safe one, but no. <laughs> you see, that's what happens when you get the wrong one. Awesome death is what happens. Okay, so the one we actually want to go for is in front of it. This one. But anyway, that is coin at number one. So just return back the way you came. And it does not matter what order you get the coins in. So, next one, I will pull this pulley, and that would open that door there. So, that's a timed door, and it's got dangerous things inside. Those big barrel things start moving around, and you want to avoid them. Oh, <laughs> you want to avoid them. So, on the corner, in the corner on the left, there we go. And then to leave the room, we want to 
example, this. This does not open the door we entered through. Oh, why? Why? Nope, that's awful. I'm reloading. There's a pulley on the opposite side, just here. And that opened the hatch down here. So I'm pretty sure that's also timed, but it gives you plenty of opportunity to get in there. Okay, so three coins so far. And don't worry about getting trapped in there, you won't get trapped. Once you're in, it does not close. So don't panic. So, right, last one. So as I said earlier, it really doesn't matter what order you get them in. I'm just doing it in this order. hidden jump switch. But before I do that, let's take a moment to admire the textures in this game. Look at that. And the next one. Look. This game is amazing. So anyway, the jump switch is in between those two pictures. Right here. Okay, <laughs> did you see a leg wobble? <laughs> That's hilarious. If you didn't play it back. <laughs> Okay, here's the last one. Okay, so now we've got all four, we can place them. is open this door and there is a key behind the door we can actually leave this area and swim back all the way to where we started. Well, not all the way to where we started. Where we jumped in the water. From there. So we just need to climb back up. Okay. 
so just return all the way all the way back I'm out, you actually want to come over in this corner, corner because there is a small meta pack hidden very well. Okay. And the next thing we're going to do is use the key. And the keyhole is right over here. level. Too miserable. Right, so, new area! Yay! So the main goal is to get into that building over there and we need to collect loads of things before that. So first thing, I'm going to pull this, which is on a very short timer. And that opens uh, this door over here. And inside is a tiger. Whoa, don't touch me, please. <laughs> oh, come on. Whoa. Oh my god, I'm doing so badly today. in this area is a prayer wheel and we don't know what it's for yet we won't need this until much later so this is a case of collecting random stuff but you don't know why so pulling the lever to let us out whoa oh but why why did you do that that was shocking <laughs> i forgot it was on a timer <laughs> to wake up a bit Okay, I made it. <laughs> right, okay, so next, if you come up to this, yes, it does stuff. I had to look that one up because I would never have guessed that one. <laughs> so you want to be very careful you don't fall down and then just carefully climb down or not so at the very bottom there are some flares but we want to climb back up just a little bit because the ledge is actually a little bit higher up so continuing down you see a pool with a sign and yes that is a spoiler that we're going to have a torch puzzle but the reason the makers of the game do that is to avoid a bug that I believe sets Lara on fire. I've never come across the bug in any TRLE, but I will still be doing the game properly. So there, there is a doorway there, and to open it is pull this lever. So excuse me sir while I to get your crotch. So that is not time. That door will remain open. And inside there are three more doors. So I will open them all now. There we go. There's the first one. Second one. Right, and the last door does not have a wheel, so we can't open that yet. Um, the door 
we want to go through first is the first one that we opened, the one on the right when entering. Uh, we want to grab this torch, and now we need to light it. So I'm sure you've already seen where the flame is. So if you haven't, pay attention. I'm trying to show you all these cool stuffs. So light the torch. And we're going to take it to the second room that I opened. I only opened it to save putting the torch down and picking it back up again. Alright, okay, so now we're here. To hop the fence, you need to do a side jump. It's ridiculous, I know, but, you know. So, like both of these. And what that does is open a door over here. This door. And in here we've got a yang piece, so obviously we will need a yin piece, and also a key. So here we go, make your way out. And before we leave this underground area, just get rid of that for now, behind the fire there was a wall. And now there's not. So if we jump... Oh, sorry, how's your face? So into the gap. Turn this wheel. Okay. I'm gonna show you something real cool. This door is now open, and what could possibly be inside? It's... A secret! So now, now we can leave this underground area. I will grab the torch and put it in the pool. I've never had an issue, but this is a walkthrough, so I will do it properly. Okay, done. Let's leave. Right. And the key is actually for this door here. So I'm going to use that straight away. Okay, this is where it gets a bit harder. So, right in the face, close as you can, and you'll do more damage. Hmm. Whoa! <laughs> I knew there was another one. My god, that scared the crap out of me. <laughs> it usually comes from the far corner. Oh, my goodness. Right, so, we need to fill this pit with water. And then that hatch at the bottom will open. So, going to do that. Oh, and if you shoot the monkeys, they will attack. I'm not going to shoot them, they're not doing no harm. So jump up and shoot that in front and when you jump out you want to be either left or right of that pillar in front because it stops you from jumping out of the gap, it's in the way there. So in the corner behind this pillar there's a jump switch and that is what fills the area with water. So now just return back to the pit. Huh? 
Okay. Okay, okay. So now, just jump on in. Right, so before you go through the hatch, there is another door that's down there, but it's closed right now. So this lever will open the door.